Hi, my name is Lillian. Um, thank you for having me, uh, Kohler. Uh, it's a really privilege uh, to be able to speak here. Um, I am a designer, uh, different than uh, a few speakers that you currently have, and I run a, a design studio in Tribeca in New York, and I would like to share with you some of my very personal uh, feeling about experiential luxuries. Um, a lot of times uh, when I do design presentations, client ask me, so what is luxury? And we, in hospitality design, we are constantly trying to redefine what can touch and everlasting in people's mind. And, you know, oftentimes, traditionally, we think luxury as um, expensive, shiny material goods but it's fleeting, it fleets in your mind. So how do we make this experience long lasting and so we create memory? And especially fun memories last forever. In order to create special memories, what do we have to do? We have to give the end user um, develop certain relationship with a very curated environment. And all the space that you've seen, all the uh, slides from Kohler, the presentation from Moxie, all these spaces that you have seen thus far, they are all very curated. They are all from a very, um, a lot of creativity behind the thoughts, with the program, with um, the designers, with the background, with the locality. So, you know, one of the one of the thing is all about to develop that relationship, and so certain uh, the, um, the slides that I will show. Uh, it's no slide. Should I hit this? Yeah. So now I'm gonna share some of my uh, personal slides of choice that I feel that it really speak to me. Uh, experiential luxury. If you look at this image, you can understand that the artisan behind it is create a perfect symmetry that's crafting the view of further beyond. You can see the beautiful water reflection that's mirroring into the view, and that when you are in this environment, all, you feel all your senses that are touched, and that you, you will create an extraordinary memory. craftsmanship, a perfect stitching of craftsmanship. When you go to any spaces, you've seen the luxury of it, the touch. It's all about be able to feel with your senses. You touch it, the contrast of the color. These, to me, is a very, very microscopic luxury that we have in life, but sometimes we don't notice it. images of a chairs. Is it just the chairs? No, but it's all about the curvature of the chair, the softness of the chairs, and where it's been positioned and juxtaposed. Same thing with the uh, photograph next to it. The artisan behind it create a perfect arch that's framing the top, that perfect art that it's framing the mirror beyond it. The curvature of the lantern on top of it while you're taking a bath. All the two images that together, it spoke and touches me personally because it connects to me. I can understand what the designer is trying to do. It's very curated and I understand it and it impacts me the second that I step into the space. an image of a cup of coffee. We love, this to me is luxury. We day to day have busy life, but when I know I go to that familiar place at the corner in New York City, I know it's not anything beautiful, but I know the barista is gonna make my type of coffee with the perfect amount of sugar and just the napkins behind it and it's just, that, to me, is the day-to-day -day luxury and what we are always trying to define in life, and especially hotel projects. 
again, just the image of a bedroom. But why, to me, it's such a powerful image. You wake up in the bed, it's unmade. You feel very luxurious already. When you first think you see it's the sunrise, and then you see all the chairs and the furniture around it that's surrounding this space, it makes you feel like you can stay in bed for a little while, and that's what all these hotel brands and all Kohler is trying to achieve. How do you make this thing stay a little bit longer? How do you make the guests want it to be here just a little bit longer, and it's unforgettable? Again, another um, image I love, it's might seem to be just a pool, but is it just a pool? It's the curve uh, architecture that's surrounding this uh, beautiful geometry, the rigid form with all these uh, mosaic tiles in different colors, the steps, the shadows, it connects with us. When you are in the space, you know that it's very powerful and that it's something that visually stunning, and then you will be able to take a swim in it. Uh, an image that we can relay uh, day to day, and to me, what a lot of time, luxury is all about, how do we find luxury in something very microscopic way? So this, again, is a luxury. I'm in a foreign land, overseas traveling, very jet lag, very tired, but I'm able to plug in a familiar um, audio, audio, uh, audio tape from my phone. I'm able to obtain New York Times because I'm from New York. That it's a sense of luxury that a lot of times we just don't see it. But once you experience it, you can't forget it because these are the day-to-day -day luxury that always hotel is trying to redefine and trying to bring it back again just as simple as hammock, to be able to get warm sunlight, to be able to, be able to, uh, to be able to relax in the outside, the way that the hammock is positioned and how it's connected to our life, this is all about luxury. There's very little material goods in it, but it's just all about nature. The image behind this I love. It reminds me of Roscoe's painting, The Color Field Block. It's the linear form of the pool connects to the ocean, and then it blends into this with the sky. So can you imagine you all staying here and experience the luxury of reading a book? Books, a very worn, uh, torn edges of books. This type of image, it's very personal to me because I love reading. I travel a lot, I carry a book with me, and there are books that I love to read over and over again. And those uh, ruffle edges, you can see it's been written so many times, it's been, been read so many times, and these are a collection of books. And oftentimes, we don't understand why in the interior, de interior design space, designer put all these books. It's because it brings you back to that corner that you're very comfortable with, and that it's home, and then I have that corner at home that I read, and this is what that is. On sun, so to have a space where you can truly experience nature, but yet your interior, you have these very interior, exterior experiences, and you know that you can relax in these spaces when you have a, a deck like this, and then you are able to have the cold of the weather, but yet inside is the warmth. A breakfast spread. When we a breakfast spread to to me, breakfast is very important because you know we travel a lot and we sometimes forget to eat. But is this just a breakfast spread? It's with a curated 
curated color, a curated uh, place that put the color and the crystal glass with the wine. To me, seeing this, it's a very uh, luxurious moment. You know you can take your time and have that Harvey breakfast before anything else to get started. Nature gives us luxury. You can hear the oceans by you sitting there. It connects with us. A beautiful curated um, flower. We bring the something soft into the interior, and then it contrasted with a juxtapose uh, ball. And then it's something that puts a smile on our face during day to day. Last, but my favorite image um, of all the slides, you, it could be just an interior shot, but it's not just an interior uh, image. It's the handmade rug. It's the locale that we are trying to bring in. It's the foot that you have senses touching the antique rug. It's the drapery. It's the language of being in, the, in a, a resort area. And so you know that this kind of... Um, space touches you when you check it in because you know you can now let go and, and let and unwind. And this is to me, as a frequent traveler, a really uh, uh, experiential luxury that I will not forget. So thank you for having me and um, I hope you enjoy the slide. <laughs>